Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Happy Saturday, everyone. My name is Jesse Anderson, and I'm a production and engineering manager here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for our 41st launch of 2022 and 54th overall launch from Launch Complex 39A. Are pressing for strong back retract. 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or spacecraft. Weather and range are both green for launch, and we are proceeding with a T0 of 9.20 p.m. Eastern Time. Along with our 34 Starlink satellites, today's mission has a rideshare payload for our customer AST Space Mobile. Blue Walker 3 is a direct-to-cell phone satellite and happens to be the largest rideshare that SpaceX has ever supported, weighing in at 1,500 kilograms. Although we won't have ground station coverage at the time of deploy to show live views, we will keep the nets up on YouTube so that we, when we regain coverage, you can listen in for confirmation from our teams. Range is green and ready to support liftoff in just about four minutes from now. We are facing some clouds today and weather is currently 40% chance of violation. And in preparation for liftoff, we are standing by for transporter erector retraction. And you can see there on your screen, the clamp arms are just about fully open. So we should see that TE begin to move back in just a few seconds. Going back, retract. There you heard that call out and it's very slow and slight, but the TE is beginning to move slightly away from the vehicle. Stage one locks load is complete, and stage one pogo. And locks load is complete on stage one. That concludes prop loading for stage one. Stage two will complete around the T minus two minute mark. And if you look at your screen, we've got a really cool view here. If you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can see Artemis there in the background. That is at pad 39B. Looking forward to that launch. And again, we are coming up on LOX load completion on stage two. We do load liquid oxygen as close to T0 as possible. This helps us keep it super chilled as close to T0 so that we can load more of it and take more into space. Stage two LOX load is complete. With LOX load complete on second stage, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. While a typical Starlink mission will require two to three second stage engine burns, we will be performing a record number of five burns during this mission to support our rideshare payload. The first two burns will put the Blue Walker 3 payload into an orbit above the space station. The second two burns will bring us down to an orbit below the space station to deploy the Starlink satellites. And the final burn will be to deorbit the Falcon 9 second stage. Next milestone will be Falcon 9 in startup here in a few seconds. Falcon 9 is in startup. And with that, the flight computers have now taken over the launch countdown. SpaceX launch director, go for launch. Awesome news, we are go for launch. So let's watch as Falcon 9 lifts off. T-minus 
minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Falcon Nine. Go Blue Walker Three, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. What you are seeing on your screen is Falcon 9 accelerating AST Space Mobile's Blue Walker 3 and our Starlink satellites into space. This is a record 14th flight for this first stage booster. And we are coming up on... Falcon 9 is uh, supersonic. We're coming up on Max Q. Now we are just about a minute. Engine chill has started. We're just about a minute away from a few events happening rapidly, back to back. That will be Miko, our main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, SES one, and fairing deploy. And you're seeing a cool view from the first stage, looking aft to the M1D engines on the vehicle. And Miko will be where all nine of those M1D engines shut down. That helps slow the vehicle down as it separates from the second stage. And then SES-1 is second stage engine start one, and that's where the MVAC engine will ignite, and then shortly followed by the fairing deploy. Main engine cut off. And vac ignition. There we had Miko stage separation on your right hand screen. You could see the MVAC engine igniting. Stage separation confirmed. And we Both heard vehicles are on nominal trajectories. We heard a confirmation of fairing deploy. That marks the fifth flight for one of the fairing halves and the fourth flight for the other fairing half. And we will attempt to recover both fairing halves again to use on a future launch. And there you could see on your right hand screen the fairing halves deploying. What you're seeing on your screen is a view from the second stage looking at our MVAC engine. Stage one is making uh, its acquisition signal, Bermuda. 
Stage one is making its way back down to Earth, and today's mission marks SpaceX's 179th overall launch. The first stage booster supporting this mission previously launched Crew Demo 2, Anasys 2, CRS-21, Transporter 1, Transporter 3, and eight Starlink missions. While stage one is making its way back down to Earth in just under a minute from now will be the next burn for the vehicle. That is the entry burn and that's where three of the nine M1D engines will reignite. That helps slow the vehicle, vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And just about a minute and a half after the entry burn will be the landing burn for the first stage. The landing burn only needs a single engine to help slow the vehicle down as it attempts to touch down. Today will be on our drone ship a sh shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there you heard that call out, but you can see on your left hand screen a view from the first stage with those three engines reigniting and lighting up that screen. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Stage one, FTS, saved. And that concludes the entry burn for the first stage. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And good callouts there. Both first stage one and stage two are on nominal trajectories. Again, we are on uh, just about a minute away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. And while the first stage booster is attempting to land, we will also have SECO, or second stage engine cutoff one, around the same time. So listen in for those call outs. Stage one transonic. Spectrum loss of signal, CAPE. Stage two, terminal guidance. Good call outs. We should be having the landing bird beginning on stage one here in just a few seconds. Stage one landing burn. And there you can see that single engine lighting up your left hand screen as Falcon 9 attempts to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And great news, Falcon 9 has and landed. This is a record breaking 14th landing for this booster. An awesome view there on your screen. This is the 141st landing of an orbital class rocket, including Nominal Falcon 9. Insertion. That includes Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And we just heard confirmation of good orbit as well on the second stage. Now stage two is carrying Blue Walker 3 as well as 34 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. With confirmation of first stage landing and successful SECA-1, we'll wrap up today's launch coverage.
If you're interested in following along, we have our nets live on YouTube, and be sure to check out Microsoft SpaceX. Be sure to check out SpaceX social media for confirmation of Blue Walker 3 and Starlink deploy. Have a good night, and we'll see you again soon.